90s Ring and Pinion for sending me some good components here. Do an unboxing for you guys. Yukon gear and axle. So looks like this is part of the rebuild kit here. Let's open it up and see, huh? Got the bearings, new seal, new bolts even for the um, pumpkin cover. More bearings, assembly lube, even a brush to put on the lube. Ooh, looks like good stuff here. It's by Yukon Gear and Axle, like I said. Yukon Gear and Axle. Here's this should be the posi unit locker. Oh yeah. That's badass. It's a whole new carrier basically. Awesome. Um I'm gonna probably end up taking this to Black Sky Racing. We're gonna end up throwing it in. I'll show you guys how we do that. I'm excited. Gonna be doing some good burnouts with this stuff. <laughs> Thanks again, Randy's Ring and Pinion. Go check them out on Facebook or you can look at their website. I'll put a link in the description here. Got some goodies today from Nitrous Express. Let's open it up and see what I got. So this is the NXD 12,000. Um, this is like kind of like a stage six diesel kit. Uh, this one has the .093 solenoid, uh, 15 pound tank. It's got all the lines, different nozzles, the clamps and uh, holders here. All sorts of goodies in here. All everything's here that I'll need. Uh, this is gonna be fun to install. Gonna be nice to have sitting in my in the back of my car to look cool. Shout out to Nitrous Express. Uh, go to www.nitrousexpress.com to see more of this. They sell a lot of kits for diesels, uh, EFI, pretty much for everything. Uh, they're the leader in nitrous, so they're really the best of the best. Now we'll open up the methanol kit. This is NX15031. This is stage two diesel methanol water injection setup. This is an inline pump, pretty self-explanatory. It's got rubber bushing mounts, so there's no um, resonating from sound, uh, like an insulator. This is one, open flow is one gallon per minute, bypass 220 PSI, 11 amps at 220 PSI. Let's open this up and see, show you guys a little specifics of everything in here. Okay, here's the Here's the controller. Um, that's the, the difference between a stage one and a stage two is the stage two comes with this controller. Uh, it's got start and full and boost. So I'll walk you guys through uh, how I install this system and then how I install the nitrous in future videos. Um, thanks for watching and Again, if you need any parts, these guys are good. Nitrous Express, very professional, well worth the money. I'm excited to run this stuff. Half inch air line. Looks like here's the long, the long tube, the long horn. This is 3 eighths, oh, 5 sixteenths air line. Here's the half inch valve, solenoid, electric 12 volt. You just basically hook it up and it directs your airflow. Open or closed, has a mounting bracket on it too, which is nice. A lot of the, a lot of these valves don't come with the mounting brackets, believe it or not. Half inch, good size. You get fast air delivery with half inch. The bigger, the better, basically. This is a good setup, I've been running these for a couple years on my truck. Uh, these are the best in the business for the money. You can go on their website. They're only like 300 bucks for the whole kit. Uh, you get everything you need minus your air supply, of course. It comes with a half inch DOT brake line, which is a dollar a foot usually, so that's good. Uh, they sent me a bunch of business cards and stickers. I'm gonna put these on the car. Um, 
cool, good stuff. Check them out online, hornblasters.com, on Facebook, uh, or you can message me if you want to find out more information about these, and I can give you the contact information. Uh, also look in the description below for some links to some of their kits. Um, this is the best bang for the buck kit they sell. They also sell some um, real train horns, which are incredibly loud. Um, this is the second loudest horn pretty much on the market, um, most cost effective. system. Um, this has the fuel pump, an air filter separator, and a water separator. Um, this is a, a good unit here. This is pretty much what everybody runs. It's a fast titanium 150 gallon per hour and it's set at 45 psi.
AVS switch box. This is a seven rocker. Uh, this is the best switch box on the market for air ride. And this is actually the billet aluminum with the brass knuckles. I'll do an install video of this for you guys and show you how to install these. But these are really nice, really convenient. Um, it has bullet connectors and then it has all the wiring diagram right on it. So I like these. So here is all my gauges. I'm running a ton of gauges in this car. I got the ABS air gauge. Uh, this, is, this works great paired with this switch box. I'll show you guys more of this, but this tells me all my air ride stuff. And inside of this box here, this is all my auto meter gauges. And there's also a fuel center here. So the auto meter gauges will control all of my, or will tell me all my boost, nitrous, fuel, trans temp, exhaust temperature, fuel pressure. Um, actually I have three boost, boost gauges. Uh, one for each turbo and then one for the manifold. So I know my drive pressure. This here is my rebuilt uh, P7100 that I got from Seth Farrell of Farrell Diesel Service. It's got uh, O35 delivery valves, 100 plate modified AFC, so it's got 50 PSI full rack travel. Um, it's got 360cc fuel set at 40 PSI, 0 PSI uh, boost is 100cc of fuel. And this is really... Uh, it's considered a stage 3 pump. This is really the best value I could find on a pump. Came complete with everything that you see here. He uses all Bosch parts. Everything is Bosch. So you know the quality is good. So this will allow me to push way more fuel than the VE pump that I originally had. Which creates more power. Shout out to Feral Diesel Service. Check him out on Facebook. Uh, he has the best pricing on good quality pumps on, that I could find. Uh, I spent a lot of time looking for pumps because this is really the most important part of your engine or of a Cummins engine is this pump right here if you want to make big power.